as you have seen the uv light is damaging the dna it is the uh, one of the major causes of uh, dna mutations so how these uh, uv lights damage the dna so mainly two major photo photo products account for nearly all of the uv induced damage to the dna so mainly two photo products are responsible for this damage they involve the dimer formation between adjacent pyrimidin bases on the same dna strand so uh, make it clear that the dimer formation takes place between two pyrimidines which are present adjacent to each other but on the same strand so this is not a dimer formation between the compatible uh, uh, strand compatible bases which are present on the opposite dna strand so this is uh, between the adjacent uh, pyrimidin Uh, basis the first pathway includes the formation of cyclobutane pyrimidine dimer or cpd this is uh, uh, mainly responsible uh, for uh, the dna damage and it accounts for about 75% of all the uv induced damage so uh, uh, the total damage caused by uv uh this the 75% of that damage is contributed by the formation of this cpd the cyclobutane ring is generated by forming one bond between the carbon atoms of one thymine or pyrimidine and the second bond is formed between the c6 atoms on the adjacent pyrimidine rings so if two rings are present pyrimidine rings are present adjacent to each other so on these rings first bond is formed between the uh, c5 atom so c5 atom of this base pyrimidine and c5 atom of this pyrimidine they take part in the formation of one bond and the second bond is formed between the c6 atoms of both these pyrimidine rings so in this way two bonds are formed these are actually covalent bonds so these two bonds are formed between two adjacent pyrimidine rings so here you can see in this uh, diagram two rings are formed one here and the other one is here so these two rings are between c5 of both the rings and the second bond is between the uh, c6 of both the rings so in this way a dimer is formed this is called a dimer so here uh, you can see in another uh, figure how these affect the conformation of uh, the dna so here you can see between these two thymines this dimer is formed this is normal uh, dna strand and in this normal strand if two thymine are present adjacent to each other and if uv light falls on these thymine this uv light falls on these thymine they form dimer so the formation of this dimer produces a small kink in the dna strand so here you can see this is a small band uh, here this band is uh, mainly produced due to the formation of a thymine dimer the most common uh, cyclobutene pyrimidine dimer is the thymine thymine dimer so this is formed between two thymine bases cytosine thymine and cytosine cytosine dimers are also formed but they are formed at comparatively slower rates so uh, the most prominent dimers are formed between thymine and thymine structural studies show that b dna b dna is uh, a form of dna that can accommodate a single thymine thymine dimer forcing the helical axis to bend by about an angle of 30 towards the major group so you might be uh, remembering the major groove which is present in the dna helical structure so this dimer it uh, produces a band of about 30 degrees 
and this band is towards that major groove of the DNA helix. The dimers 3 prime thymine can form a normal base pairing with its adenine partner on the complementary strand. So, uh, uh, as you know in this dimer two thymine are involved. One thymine, thymine is towards the 3 prime end and the other thymine is towards the 5 prime end. So, the thymine present in towards the 3 prime end, it can uh, make normal base pairing with its uh, adenine partner compatible uh, base pairing on the other strand. While the interaction between the 5 prime thymine and its complementary adenine partner will be weaker than normal because a single hydrogen bond can be formed here. So, normally between adenine and thymine, two hydrogen bonds are formed. Similarly, you know between guanine and cytosine, three hydrogen bonds are formed. So, here between adenine and thymine, two hydrogen bonds are formed. But here in case of dimer formation, the thymine present towards the 5 prime end, it makes only one hydrogen bond because the space for the formation of second hydrogen bond is not available. Thymine, thymine dimers are often used to study DNA repair systems because they are stable, because dimers are stable, they are easy to form and are easy to detect. So, these three properties make them an excellent tool to study the DNA repair systems.